Most people don't realize the amount of radiation they are exposed to on a daily basis and how harmful that exposure can be for the human body. External exposure is radiation that comes from somewhere outside the body and interacts with us. The amount of external radiation exposure received is related to the distance from the source, the energy of the emitted radiation, the total amount of radioactive material present or the machine setting, and the time of exposure. Today, we will tell you top 10 ways to protect yourself from radiation. Twelve. Radiation Exposure Protection Radiation workers can control and limit their exposure to penetrating radiation by taking advantage of time, distance, and shielding. Reduce time By reducing the time of exposure to a radiation source, the dose to the worker is reduced in direct proportion with that time. Time directly influences the dose received. If you minimize the time spent near the source, the dose received is minimized. For example, if possible, interview a nuclear medicine patient before drug administration, not after. Increase distance. When appropriate, increase the distance between you and the radiation source. For example, sealed source, x-ray tube, the exposure rate from a radiation source drops off by the inverse of the distance squared. For example, if a problem arises during a fluoroscopy procedure, stand on the image intensifier side of the C-arm if possible or, when not assisting, step away from the patient if feasible. Use shielding. The third exposure control is based on the proper radiation shields, automatic interlock devices, and in-place radiation monitoring instruments. Except for temporary or portable shields, protective drapes, lead or lead-equivalent aprons, this type of control is usually built into the particular facility, such as concrete walls next to a radiation oncology accelerator. For portable X-ray devices, follow the vendor instructions. In general, alpha, beta, gamma, and X-ray radiation can be stopped by keeping the time of exposure to a minimum, maintaining distance from the source, when appropriate, placing a shield between yourself and the source, and protecting yourself against radioactive contamination by using proper protective clothing. 11. Avoid wireless technology you should try to limit the amount of wireless-based technology that's in your home. For example, Wi-Fi-based devices emit relatively strong levels of electromagnetic radiation, even if they are not in use. It might require more planning and hassle, but try to connect your devices up using cables. As a bonus, your internet connection should be more stable. 10. Don't keep your mobile phone nearby A lot of people carry their phones with them all day long in their pockets, even when they are at home. However, this is unnecessary because you can easily increase the distance between yourself and your phone. This can be done by putting your phone on the loudest ring setting and placing it in a corner of the room that you usually don't occupy. If you're outside and have a bag, then the phone can be placed inside the bag. For mobile phones, the EMR radiation exposure decreases quickly over a distance of 3 feet. Therefore, this should be the minimum distance of separation to aim for. When you need to carry your phone, there are protective pads, such as the one pad made by Heripad that prevents the cell phone radiation from spreading. It is a useful product when you must keep the phone close to your body. 9. Get rid of your microwave Microwave ovens emit stronger EMR fields than almost all other electronics, and the fields travel further from the source towards your body, resulting in more exposure. They are also not the healthiest way to cook. Microwaving plastic is a terrible idea. 8. Unplug appliances This might seem like a simple tip, but it can go a long way if you execute it on a regular basis. An increasing number of home appliances nowadays make use of wireless technology, everything from coffee machines to microwaves. By turning off the appliances, you'll also save money on your energy bills. Furthermore, the appliances will have a longer lifetime, which means you will save money on repairs and replacements. 7. Laptops Laptops are strong emitters of EMR radiation, but unfortunately, many of us use them with close proximity. Instead of putting the laptop directly on your legs, try using a barrier. This could be a book or a metal sheet that will reduce the range of frequencies getting through. For example, Parapad sells a lightweight computer pad that blocks radiation and heat. 6. Install the correct lighting 
A lot of homes have the flowing types of lighting, even though they emit relatively high levels of electromagnetic radiation. Energy efficient compact fluorescent lighting, fluorescent tubes, and low voltage halogen lamps. This type of lighting can also make what is known as dirty electricity, which can damage the internal wiring of your home. So, what's the solution? There isn't an affordable one yet, but LCD lighting technology is being developed and should be released soon. Once it drops in price, you can make a switch to it as the primary source of lighting for your home. 5. Walking Barefoot Some studies have shown that when you make contact with natural surfaces, grounding takes place. This occurs to the point when harmful electromagnetic radiation flows through the body and into the earth. You'll also become less stressed, and then the strength of your immune system will increase. And the strength of your immune system will increase. Therefore, you should try to have as many natural plants in your home as you can and walk barefoot from time to time. This should go a long way in reducing the amount of EMRN that your body has to deal with over the long term. EMR, EMR that your body has to deal with over the long term. 4. Limit mobile phone conversations. Get a landline installed so that you can avoid using the mobile phone while in the house. However, if you do speak via a mobile phone, then make the conversation as short as possible. Instead, make an effort to see that person face to face. You'll be surprised how quickly you can finish a conversation if you get straight to the point. Mobile phones are one of the more harmful culprits of EMR because of how close we hold them to our heads while in conversation. Using a hands-free wired setup can also reduce the amount of exposure while using the mobile phone. 3. Stop using Bluetooth Bluetooth headsets for cell phones, Bluetooth laptop accessories, etc. are all unnecessarily increasing your exposure to electromagnetic radiation. Bluetooth technology operates at microwave frequency and is easily replaced with low current and therefore safer wired devices. 2. Natural Crystal Salt Lamp a natural crystal salt lamp will release a good dose of negative ions into the air surrounding it. The negative ions have the ability to cancel out the EMR radiation that is emitted by the electronic devices in your home. Perhaps installing such a lamp in every room of the house is a good investment to make. 1. How to protect yourself during the event In the event that you are faced with danger from gamma radiation or ionized particles in the air, the basic principles to remember for radiation protection are time, distance, and shielding. Airways are usually the first organs to get exposed. Gas masks, goggles, and gloves come in handy at times like this, even if it is not possible to access full body protection. Get to a place of safety immediately and discard everything that you're wearing, followed by a shower to ensure that the exposure time is reduced. The shorter the time of exposure, the better protected you can be. Distance yourself as much as possible from the radiation source. Depending on the size of the event, radiation exposure can happen for several miles around. Even when indoors, it is advisable to stay away from doors, windows, and even walls. Stay close to the center of the space to maximize protection. Often, it may not be possible to distance yourself as much as you should from the source when you are within the containment zone. However, it is better to do as much as you can to reduce additional risk. Radiation shielding is also important when taking shelter from radiation exposure. To minimize the effects of radiation, it is useful to have bunkers, basements, etc. that are lined with materials that prevent hazardous radioactive elements from seeping through. Remember that it is not safe to venture out unless deemed safe to do so by the experts and authorities in charge of the situation. Exposure zones typically require wearing radiation PPE, which can protect you to some extent from harm. Do let us know in the comments if you find these tips helpful. Thanks for watching.